What's going on guys? Apathetic here with all your tips, recommendations, and everything in between. And today, we finally have the Felwinter's Lie shotgun in our hands after a very lengthy quest that was finally fixed after being bugged. The Felwinter's Lie puts fear into a lot of D1 veterans who remember how potent the shotgun was once back in the early days of D1, especially when you see the name Shot Package on the D2 version. This perk has changed since it was created, then removed in D1, but it still does bring some potency to Felwinter's Lie in D2. Jumping into the perks of Phil Winter's Lie, it's got Shot Package, which modifies this aggressive frame shotgun to have a more uniform spread. Full Choke, which should tighten the spread even further. Accurized Rounds for range. A selection between Slide Shot and Quick Draw in the third column. And a selection of Opening Shot or Vorpal in the fourth column, followed up with a Range Masterwork. Looking at these perks, the biggest thing we notice is first and foremost, shot package. Now from shooting the shotgun against the wall, you'll notice that the pellet spread with this weapon is very tight and that translates into more consistent damage and a more consistent one hit kill range. And you'll find from this review, and I'm sure a lot of other reviews, that consistency is the hallmark of this weapon. The next thing is the ability to select our perks in the third and fourth column. And this allows this weapon to be more flexible in how you can use it. With the ability to throw on Vorpal in game modes like Trials or Survival, where you know a heavy super round is approaching, it could make the difference. But you want to keep in mind with this shotgun, it cannot one shot kill supers with Vorpal equipped. In most scenarios, depending on the Guardian's resilience, you're going to need to follow up with one or two melees after your initial shot. Getting into how this weapon performs, we have to talk about the other heavy hitting aggressive frame shotguns, Astral Horizon and Mindbender's Ambition. I'll put some of my very brief testing up on the screen, but from the testing I did do with this weapon, I could say a couple of things. In terms of lethality, it's very close to a god roll Astral, with the difference being that the Fell Winter's Lie seemed to consistently one shot kill more often from eight meters and it and if it didn't it consistently did more damage overall than a really well rolled astral horizon as far as how it compares to mindbenders fell winter's lie was easily more consistent than my mindbenders ambition from eight meters almost every test i did the fell winter's lie did more damage or just killed the target completely doing the comparisons my biggest takeaway with fell winter's lie was again its consistency it didn't blow me away by mapping significantly farther than my astral horizon but it was the consistency with the damage output as i was testing i felt i had a better feel for how much damage i was going to do when before i was going to shoot the weapon or when a shot was going to kill my target in terms of comparing this weapon to astrals and mindbenders of the world i'll end the comparison with this if you don't have a god roll astral horizon which because of many factors a lot of us don't then phil winter's lie is going to be the best shotgun for you to use now if you have an astral i'm still going to recommend phil winters because of its consistency the value of knowing how your gun is going to perform at certain ranges is invaluable and allows us to use a weapon with more confidence because its consistency allows us to know what to spec expect from it in terms of performance Overall guys, the conclusion I've come to with Phil Winter's Lie is it is a much more consistent Astral Horizon. It's not the game breaking shotgun that a lot of us thought it might be with Shot Package. Shot Package just takes a lot of the RNG with shotguns and tones it down a little bit, making, making the range and the one shot kill range a little bit more consistent. And I would say it's very noticeable when you use it with opening shot, you're gonna notice the consistency of your damage, the consistency of your one hit kills. And it's gonna sometimes feel based on the RNG that is still present that you're gonna map people. With that being said, my recommendation for perks on this weapon, since you do have a selection in the third and fourth column, you're gonna wanna use opening shot and quick draw. That's gonna be the best perk combination since quick draw is gonna allow you to quickly react to enemies that are pushing you that maybe you weren't prepared for. And opening shot, giving you the most consistency with that booster range and accuracy. Now, I know some of you really like slide shot and slide shot's great, but I just find the impact of opening shot to be a lot more prevalent when using shotguns you when using opening shot you want to use a weapon that's going to do a lot of burst damage with one shot and that's the definition of a shotgun so opening shot is what made astral horizon so strong and is also part of what makes this shotgun so strong now the last thing i wanted to touch on is how everyone is going to have this weapon which i think is awesome i think it's going to bring some symbol of balance to the crucible because no longer will i feel like i got 
killed in a shotgun fight because the enemy I was fighting had quick draw and I didn't, or because they had opening shot and I didn't. Now we all have a shotgun that's easily accessible, easy to get, that has the best combination of perks you could want on a shotgun. And I think this is only gonna make the Crucible a better place to play. Initially, it's gonna feel like there's even more shotgun apes, especially with the state of Antius Wards. But after everybody gets over the excitement, it'll I think it'll go back down to normal. But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, or drop a follow for me on my Twitch channel, which I'll leave a link for you guys down below. That's all free ways to support me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.